You know what? Everybody's got a job to do, and Indiana's got a job to do, and it's a lot of fun to be doing it. It's a lot of fun to be representing you. It's a lot of fun to be representing our community. It's a lot of fun to be representing this entire state. And it's a lot of fun to be representing in men's basketball and all the other coaches and Fred and the athletic department and everybody at Indiana, all right, that's representing the third largest alumni base in the nation. That's a big deal. That's a big, big deal. It's great to be at a school where when you bring a recruit on campus and, and you start to talk about the academics, all of a sudden, before you know it, you've run out of time to talk about anything else. Because you start covering the 180 majors, you start covering the 330-odd degree programs that they could get, the over 4,000 classes where all these different schools are ranked. You start to talk about the alums. Don mentioned the, 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 the basketball players. I mean, think about it. How many places have a guy that was a manager at the school, and he's one of the top head coaches in the NBA, and Lawrence Frank is an Indiana grad. We've got as many... Uh, or more. We just had a young lady in, in our office that worked for us that's, that's getting a job in the NBA. The, the bottom line is Indiana is a powerful place. It's a powerful place athletically. It's a powerful place school-wide. It's a, a powerful place alumni-wise. And you know what? When we step out and decide that we're going to do something, we can do it together. And that's exactly why the program is moving in the direction that it is. Because when all this fell apart, four years ago for all the different reasons and all the different ways. The one thing that didn't fall apart is people like you. We lost half our student body, took a couple years to get, to get that back up to being a national leader. Now it'll be back again this year. We could be between 8,500 and 9,000 students when it's all said and done this year. And it dropped into the, the high threes, low fours our first year. There were so many things that dropped, but the, the support of you, the support of the state, the support of, of Indiana University alums and fans and supporters. It never went anywhere. It never went anywhere. It continued to be there. And when all of those recruits would come in and watch the games, and, and our players would go out there knowing in their heart of hearts that they, they may not be as good as this person or as good as that team, but they knew they had a chance to fight. They knew they had a chance to get it going because of the support of the crowd. Any opportunity we've got to have a home game, okay, and allow all of you and allow our students to be back there and, and watch it against the top opponents in the country, we're going to do that. We're going to do that because that's been earned. Indiana's tradition, it is a very traditional program because it's a very traditional school. You come in there, nothing's handed to you, you earn it, you work, you, you, you make connections, you build a network, but you've got to go out and you've got to do it. And that's what so many of you that our alums have done. That's why there's so many success stories that are, that, are, that are part of the Indiana fabric. And I know every year it seems like I look out and we've got more and more young people, some kids, but we've got young people. And, and I'm telling you, what your grandparents and aunt and uncles and your mother and fathers are trying to instill in you, all right, irregardless if they're an Indiana alum or an Indiana fan like I am. I was an Indiana fan growing up in the state of Michigan because it just, it was something that was out there. It was something that was so hard to imagine something being that good and that powerful and, and, and that extraordinary and that exciting. Well, it is. And the people that you have, you wouldn't be here if you didn't support it, if you weren't an alum of it. And I want to say this quickly because this is, this is like in recruiting. We're always looking for upside in recruiting. We're looking for an athletic upside. We're looking for a character and how you treat people upside. And we're looking for an intelligence upside. If those three things are in place, as young as we recruit, now we've got a chance to make progress. Now we've got a chance to move forward. The best thing that you can do, all right, the best thing as young people that you can do is continue to help your families, help the people in the communities, help the people in this state, be the best teammate you could possibly know of. And, and, and I know we're trying to preach that to our three kids. And some days it works and some days it doesn't. But the bottom line is you just keep coming. You keep persevering. You keep moving forward. And there's a lot of examples of that right now at Indiana, but there's one right now that, that, that I want to make sure I, I reference. Where's Perry from, from Henryville? Is he still here? Stand up. Let's... <laughs> coach Hunter, the head coach at Henryville, stand up. Stand up. I won't make you stand long, but I think it's important. Head coach at Henryville High School. He doesn't have a high school right now. He was there that day, correct? 
And your wife was there that day, right? And all this man has done, and his friends, and his colleagues, and that community, and then all of, so many of you, I know so many of you, and so many of the people in this state, all right, I'm sure there were even some people that came over from Kentucky to help, okay? I'm sure there were, okay? But the bottom line is this. This state, the community of Henryville, people like Perry, they rallied around when, when, when a crisis hit, and it's a crisis, that's a crisis, okay? That's a tragedy. All right, when those things hit, when something like that hits, and we saw it last summer with what happened at the state fair, people don't stand around and look around and point a finger at this and wait for somebody to do that. They get in and they do it. They get in and they get behind it. And guys like Perry and the people of Henryville and all of you that helped with that, with everything that's going on in there, that's who's your spirit. And I'm speaking now to everyone, but especially to the kids and the children and, and the young adults and the college students. Look around. That's what it means to live in this state. That's what it means to be a part of the fabric of this state, whether you're an Indiana grad or not. But that's what it means to step up and not make it about yourself. Thank you for everything that you and everyone in Henryville are doing. That's the stuff that makes it exciting. It, it, what they dealt with, I mean, most of us, unless we were there, we can't imagine that. But the stuff that makes you so proud, and I know I didn't grow up in this state, got four plus years in it now, but that's where you really, really, really know that you're at a special place. And when you're part of Indiana University, you're part of a special school when people rally. And that's, that's what you did for us. And I would echo what Fred said in, in the sense. Felicia Leggett Jack is one of the best friends I have and my family has. But Kurt Miller's our basketball coach. All right, and he's a very, very good basketball coach. I watched him beat Michigan State on an ESPN game in the NCAA tournament, and then I started really paying attention and reading articles and looking at what this guy was doing because he went on the road and he won a game inside of the NCAA tournament, and that was a couple of years back. That was before 60 and 4. Okay? You don't have to know a lot about football to know that Oklahoma football, it, it, it's a way of life. It's like Indiana basketball. It's Indiana University. It's a way of life. And when you're the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma, it goes head coach, offensive coordinator, governor, all right, in, 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 uh, in, in room of where, where the criticism and the scrutiny and all that comes. That man, and I'm just getting to know him more and more, and that staff that they have, they've weathered storms. When you start to hear about what they've done and you start to hear the numbers of rings that they've won and championships that they've been a part of and pros that they've turned out have been a part of developing, there's, there's no doubt that it's going to turn. I mean, there, there's no doubt, okay? It's really not a matter of if, and that's, that's where all of us are gonna come in. All of you are gonna come in, all of the, this state. It's just a matter of when, all right? For us, I never had a day. There were days that were extremely hard. There, there, were, there were moments, there were emails, phone calls, games. I mean, there's a lot of things in, in, in situations that happen. You make yourself wonder, man, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm sure some of you were wondering, what is he doing, okay? <laughs> In those games, I get all that. I get all that. That's all part of it. But because that I had been raised in coaching the right way and, and, and raised in basketball and, and been a part of winning and a part of building, I never, I never wavered on it. I mean, it was just a matter of, 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 of when for us. Okay? That's the same thing with football right now. I watch the way they're recruiting. I watch the way those kids are working. I watch what's going on over there. And, 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 and they've got incredible facilities and an incredible weight room and and they've got all that, okay? But that's only as good all right, as the players that are playing in it. And the players are only as good as the work and the mindset and the extra work and the extra mindset that they're putting into it. Because everybody's got opportunities to get better. We just got this new rule this summer that we can work, without, without, or work out with our team for two hours a week in basketball, okay? And we get eight weeks inside of the summer, and it's outstanding. Well, we better maximize those two hours. And the biggest thing that we better max out is how important it is that those players get in the gym and in the weight room and in the film room more and more and more. Because everybody gets the two hours. It's what you do with it and it's what you do after it that's going to be the separator, especially for where we're trying to take the program now. And now we're at a point where we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to play for what we're playing for, to be ranked where we might be ranked, to go for what we want to go for. And that's all it is. And we're only as good as each day. And that's what's going to happen in football. Those players are going to figure it out because those coaches are going to get it across. 
And the way that you come across, the way that you come and support the program, the way that you come and support the road games, the way that you come and make it an atmosphere. All, right, all you got to do, look at it. Can you, can you, can you, did any of you really imagine that you would have teams that were really, really good in the country that wouldn't want to come back because of how hostile the atmosphere was? <laughs> because how excited we got? I mean, come on, let, let's call it what it is. Think about that. Now, we're not giving that back. We're not giving that back, are we? No, we're not giving it back. We've got it now. We're building home court. We got to build home field. We got to build home field. We got to help Kurt. We've got to help Todd Yagley. It is a big time place made up of people that have a tremendous Hoosier spirit. And that's what we've got to continue to go for. That's what we've got to continue to go for. There's a focus. There's a focus. There's a focus when we recruit. There's a focus when, when the coaches are going. Reminds me of a story. A man walks into a Hallmark store, okay? And he's got his plan, and he goes up to the counter. And he tells the lady at the counter, I need a card. Okay, sir, where can we get you? I, said, I need a card. I need to find a card that, ex that, that really expresses my love, the love of my life, the best person I've ever met, the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, well, let's go over to the card section. They're looking around. You like this? No, not good enough. You like this? No, not good enough. They finally found it. And, 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 and the lady reads it. He goes, that is great. That explains it. I'll take four of them. Okay? All right? That can happen sometimes in recruiting. We can get so spread out on what we're trying to do that we lose sight of what we've got to do. And we all have musts, we all have wants, we all have needs. And that's what's going on in football right now. Well, right now, what they, what they must get, they must get playmakers. They must get people on both sides of the ball that are going to attract others to come in, just like we had happen with us. They've got to find some Victor Oladipos and some Will Sheehy's, people that maybe people like you. Victor Oladipo has already started more games at Indiana than he did in high school, okay? You've got to find some people that have upside, that are willing to work and to develop. And that's what all the programs at Indiana have. And where you come in is dressing like you dress tonight with that gear, okay? Wearing the hats, being at the games, coming early, staying late, making sure that everybody that's a part of it on that field or on that court, all right, they understand this is for real. But with all those recruits that are sitting in the crowd, just like you did for all of us, when they would sit behind the bench or sit in the end zone, they knew. They knew it was for real at Indiana. They knew it. And that's why we're continuing to turn it, and that's what we've got to continue to do. So thank you for what you're doing, but don't rest on any laurels right now. We need you more than ever. Our program needs it. Our varsity club needs it. The cost of doing business, okay, and, and when, you, when you put, all right, the student athletes and you put the students, okay, and at the forefront of what you're trying to do, and you want to continue to give those facilities, and you want to continue to make it a happening when people come on that campus, and you want to continue to make sure that your athletic program matches up with this incredible academic program, it costs money. It costs money. The varsity club is moving at a fast rate. They need you to continue to help them. And if you've already helped or you can't help anymore, find some other people that can help because that's what Indiana needs. We need to continue to build this in a big way. Okay? But if you can be there and you can bring energy and you can be there when, 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 when it's not always the easiest thing to do and you can make those sacrifices and you're not focused on who's playing who but the fact that your beloved Hoosiers are playing, well, now we got a chance. Now we've got a chance, and that's what we need more than ever. And we are living proof at Indiana basketball right now that what you do and what this state does to support it when it's struggling is what will be a difference maker. So thank you for what you do in that. Thank you very much. Right.